Yes. Everybody, are you excited? Xiaomi, uh, the, smart, the smartphone maker, has just wowed the world by um, introducing this dream car. It's called the Xiaomi SU7. By the way, Xiaomi translated means millet. <laughs> so the millet. Yo, what do you drive? Yo, I got a millet. Yeah, got millet, a millet bro. bro. I got you a know, millet phone. You, you know, like small rice. Yeah, yeah, millet. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because that's what Xiaomi means is small rice, by the way. So millet, uh, the millet SU7 has just been released. Okay. Okay. It um, looks very familiar. It does, and the thing weird. That, it looks exactly like something I've seen before. Mm, yeah, Ooh, I wonder what that could be. How come I've never heard it before? How come I've never yeah. heard, seen, <laughs> seen this seen it car before. before? Oh, but yeah. I have. Yeah, that's wow. right. Let's let's take a look. I get kind of annoyed because um, the press has been going crazy. But okay, let's take a look here. You've got the the Porsche uh, Taycan. It's a Taycan, Taycan, Don't whatever it is. That electric. It's an car. electric. Porsche. Yes. And it, that's the one on the top. That's the one we've that we're alluding to that we've seen in real yes. life. And the bottom one is the Xiaomi SU7. Let's see. Oh, wow. What do you know? You gotta be kidding me. It's the same it's car. It's the same car. It is exactly we, the so same car. So here's the deal. We scoured the internet trying to find articles because they're talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to find normal articles on any news outlet, Fox, CNN, whatever, all mm -hmm. this stuff. They're talking about this car. Yeah. Not necessarily praising it, but they're talking about it because it's like a big deal. Everyone's like, oh, you know, shall right. we just enter the market? Yeah, yeah, so it's news, right? Yeah, it's like... No right. one's saying it looks like a Porsche Taycan. No, everybody's just like, oh, it's affordable and it's a sports car. It's the I mean, same car. The, look at, even the wheels are copied. Yes. Okay, they copied the different variations of wheels. Everything about this is just a plain... You know what's interesting, though? Dirty copy. What? It is... That makes, you know, that Porsche Taycan came out first, obviously, right? Oh, yeah. It's been would, out for like a more than a year now, two years or something. That means the millet copy. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like younger. And maybe oh, sure. oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's like. Yeah, Whoops. Oh, sorry. I didn't do it properly. Yeah, it's younger and beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So, you know, um, I just wanted to, again, show another picture just to prove. I mean, you, you can't make this up. It's the same car. Everything from the windows to the B pillars to, to the, the wall. To the, yeah, exactly. To the, yeah. I mean, look at the, the sort of plastic guard uh, on the bottom to the lip. But those the... wheels, they look like balls. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. It, yeah. looks, it does look shittier. Yeah, this is, of course, quite common in China. Yes. But before I even get onto this one, um, guys. It's the <clears> same <throat> car. Why? And here's what annoys me is you see all the motoring press and you see all these articles on CNN and stuff. Everybody's like, look at this great, like they've entered the market. It's great. All this nonsense. Why are people not pointing out the fact that this is just a, a product of theft? This is a dirty thief has stolen not only the design, but all the R&D that went into the Taycan. So, you know, presumably, I mean, not presumably, appearance. It's no, I'm saying appearance. Yes. Right? We don't know how it drives. Yeah, of course. But yeah. like the, they obviously took one and reverse engineered it yeah. and figured out everything and they just copied it. Sure. You know, and they're like, oh, just change it a little bit, you yeah. know? Yeah. So that, uh, you know, like. It's probably like, on a shitty drivetrain, to be honest. It'll be whatever. EVs are pretty easy to make a drivetrain. It's That's like, true. it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Like, um, we shouldn't be rewarding this kind of behavior. Okay, mm. because Porsche spends millions, billions on their design and their R&D, right? Yes. They created something. They brought it to mm. market, something unique, something very special, something very Porsche. Okay, and because of their good name and yes. because of their history, people like it and they buy it. Yes. But this Chinese copy, this this real cheap, rubbish, Yo. millet copy. I'm sorry, but there's like tons of like... Wuma that just entered the chat. And oh, yeah? Like, that's nonsense. It's not the same at all. It's exactly the same. So this millet <laughs> In copy... In our opinion, then, okay? You can yeah. have your own opinion. This millet copy steals the design, so they didn't have to spend any money on design. They're literally like, take that and copy it. Mm. And all the R&D that went into... Because it's not just R&D of the actual manufacturing. It's the R&D of and um, market research to see what people desire and what uh. they want and what's going to work, uh. right? They've taken all that for free. Then on top of that, the Chinese government subsidizes EVs in oh. China, uh, and especially a company like Xiaomi, which is a CCP darling company. Sure. So they're able to produce this cheap, dirty copy. 
of the Porsche and then release it into the world and release it onto the market. And people are like, yeah, that's great. It's cheaper and it's just as good. And it looks great. You know why it looks great? Why you think it looks great? It's because it's just a copy of something that was designed to look great and something that actually looks great, mm. you know? So this is the way we stifle innovation, right? Because why should a company go through all the trouble of developing something and making something and innovating something if China's just going to copy it and undercut them on the market? You know, it's going to end up in a situation where people just stop. They just don't bother. I'm trying so hard to see differences here. It's they're I'm the same car. I'm trying so hard. I mean, maybe that thing on the back. What thing on like the back? bumper? Because there's like an indent. It's so slight. No, I know. I'm just saying. I'm looking. I'm hunting. I mean, there are tiny little differences, but that's what they do to say yeah, like, "Blue, it's not sure. the same." Yeah. It's stupid. It's like somebody copying someone's homework and just yeah. all the capital letters they write them in lowercase. Right. Oh, or look, spell I didn't a copy. Words wrong. Yeah, exactly. Swap <laughs> a few words around. Yeah. It's dumb. It's dumb. Just wanted to point that out. But of course, China it does this all the time. Remember this? Yeah, Zotier? cover these, and then I'll read what what they're actually the audacity they have. Right <laughs> yeah. Now. Okay, so this is a Zotier, which is obviously just a copy a of the Porsche. Porsche McCann. McCann. They love copying Porsches, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and there's that Dolphin thing that's a Porsche yeah. box to copy, all that kind of nonsense. I mean, that's just like verbatim. Yeah. Now, um, one thing I'm pretty sure they won't copy is the safety of a Porsche. Yeah. And this is related kind of tangentially. It's not really related, but here's the thing, guys. Uh, just about a week or two ago, actually, in, in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Is that how you say it? Mm-hmm. It's an interesting name. Why is it named after a person? I don't know. Okay, all right. I'm not from there, dude. Okay, fair. I'm just wondering if you knew. No. You know, it's your own country. Anyway, the thing is, in Ann Arbor, Michigan... I'll um, look it up while you, while you check. Okay, this is in the Chinese news I got this from, by the way. Uh, three Chinese students studying in Ann Arbor, Mich- Michigan, went out and got horrendously drunk. And apparently the guy... There was one guy and two girls, and the guy... Um, borrowed this Porsche from his friend to kind of, you know, show off. Mm -hmm. So he went and got drunk with these uh, girls, and then they were driving. Well, they left, and they were driving drunk, but he was, like, you know, showing off to them, and he's like, why don't you drive it? And he let one of the girls drive it. Well, police suspect alcohol was involved. Well, I mean, no, according to the Chinese news, I am verbatim copying. Oh, you're verbatim copying the Chinese news. So, you know, you can read this in Chinese, right? This is not like... American news where they yeah, have to yeah. say allegedly yeah, speed was involved in this accident. That's true. Like, in Chinese news, they were like they got drunk and they crashed. <laughs> yeah, they're that's... very pragmatic. Okay, sure. so in the Chinese news where I got this from, <clears throat> the uh, the guy said to was showing off how fast it is and stuff, mm. and he got one of the girls, a nineteen year old girl, to drive it. Mm. Now this nineteen year old girl was drunk and didn't have a license, mm. so that's a kind of a double whammy. And I guess you can guess what the result of this uh, little incident was. And this is the police um, released this video. As we can see, this is the Porsche Taycan, by the way, the one that Xiaomi copied. All right. And you can see that is one hell of a, an accident. If you see it in real time speed, that is, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's scary. But here's the thing. They all survived. That's the reason we brought this up. Yeah. Is that, that's they the all car. Survived. And they survived inside the car. They survived because the, of the Porsche's safety standards. Yeah, you can't copy the safety standards. So, I mean, do usually. that Do that in a Xiaomi. Let's see what happens in, in, the in, a, in a millet, and we'll see. Anyway. Um, dead, you'd be dead in a millet. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, in a millet second. In a New York millet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's my ass, bro. Stop. <laughs> That's awesome. It's creating the nipple. You're yeah. making the nipple, not hiding the nipple. <clears throat> Sometimes the nail clippers aren't strong enough because or, your nails are big super, enough. Yeah. Ah. Ah, oh, yes. yeah, that works. That's <laughs> epic. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a children's gift. You're like, hey, Timmy, I got you, you know, Chernobyl. (laughs) It's like, oh, my favorite, Chernobyl. (laughs) (laughs) That is, that is amazing. I love this guy. Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Uh, and if my mind-